Okay. There's another fan animation, except this is directly involving Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Fair enough. Let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Uch, and of course, we all. How y'all doing today? So, it comes to my attention, um, I did see and notice this uh, about a few weeks ago. There seems to be another fan animation for the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. And of course, this is a fan animation. This is not official. Nothing to do with the original source material outside of it obviously being like someone's take on what came out earlier this year. And I saw it briefly as far as like, I saw like an image of like what seems to be a cell max fused with the gammas, which is a concept that myself and I'm sure a lot of others might have predicted to take place in the superhero film. Obviously, you're just looking at the history, you know, it, it kind of spells itself out where once we figured out that the Gammas were androids and that this was going to be a Gohan-centric movie, I definitely was one of the first few to say that, yeah, I'm pretty sure Cell is going to make some type of return. And he did, except it wasn't the original Cell. It was obviously a whole new Cell. I'm sure everyone at this point already knows it is in the form of Cell Max. But because of that, um, a lot of folks probably predicted like, oh, yeah, like Cell is going to probably absorb the gammas well that didn't happen at all in the movie so if you haven't seen it well i'm sorry for the spoiler but in this case from that preview some th thumbnail whatever that tease it looks like that's going to happen in here so the reason why i'm doing this is because a i want to obviously do more reactions like i've been planning and trying to do for you guys and two um a lot of folks seem to really enjoy the fan versions of a lot of these projects i mean legend was obviously a huge success that's you know no secret about that and i know that there's other work so i guess this is me letting you guys know as a reminder um to let me know of other good fan works whether they're animations preferably animations or any kind of really dope manga let me know i know there's a few like kakume and deliverance among others i know i never finished absalon it's something that i personally want to actually go back and check out but besides the point Let's just get right. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Let's Blue Animation, of course, as you can this see. This really got my heart racing. I can't believe how much you've all improved, especially you, Broly. This should be interesting. He's the Ghost Kamikaze. Time's over, Gamma Two. I don't think you can <laughs> defeat them alone. Together, it should be easier. Go on. Just hold on a little longer. Something terrible must have happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now show me your power. So, release my daughter. Now that I've absorbed Gamma 1 and 2, you could say I'm new and improved again. <laughs> You can absorb as many androids as you want, Cell. That won't. Is it? Is this Super Saiyan Four Gohan? I don't know. We'll find out. Stop me from ripping you apart. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, project by Blue Animation. Okay, cool. Release date. Oh wow. So, is it? Well, it's not out yet, but uh. I could tell that it may come into play, I want to say, by Christmas, possibly. All right, so I guess while we're here, I guess we could like kind of talk about some of the things that we're noticing different, right? Um, there's a little breakdown, I suppose. So right off the bat, I mean, what was different from Superhero versus this? Well, it seems like Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are now directly training with Beerus. Beerus is a little bit more involved, which usually, normally, I mean, well, I think it would have been interesting if Beerus actually had more of an involvement rather than trying to not really hit on Chi-Lai, but he obviously took an interest in her and wanted to spend a little bit more time with her. 
Of course, they was eating hella ice cream and everything in the movie. Um, so, like, that's the first little thing right there. But the thing is, right, and this is why, I don't know, like, fan works can really be a hit or miss. And I'm not, like, this is not me trying to shit on blue animation. I, Animation-wise, everything looks pretty cool, right? Everything looks kind of really dope. I know a lot of work goes into animation, but as far as the direction, right, that's kind of like where I draw a line between, you know, like why I don't really watch a lot of these works versus if I did or not. Um, and then one of the reasons is like, I feel like sometimes character portrayals are lost. Um, and I think really what it, what it all really comes down to is like, what defines a great piece of fan work is when you as a fan understand the characters and how they were written. So when you see or read anyone's version of their take on how they think or want something to work out, it's more appreciated when all of the, the, the notes are checked out you know what I'm saying? So, like, when I see Broly, not to say that I've never seen him smile before. I mean, he's had a little smirk here and there. But this type of, like, you know, facial expression, this is not the Broly we know. Okay? And I'm not expecting him to be raging all the time. And that's what I'm not saying. But as the Broly, man, I mean, I could just tell you right off the bat that he would not have this face on even if they were all about to have some kind of grand sparring match or anything like that, his facial expression would look a little different. That's really all I'm gonna, you know, kind of point out with that. I mean, Vegeta and Goku look very, very, very good. Now, let's hear some of this dialogue one more time. <laughs> let's get serious already. Let's get serious already. Okay. This really got my heart racing. I can't believe how much you've all improved. Especially you, Broly. So, <laughs> is he also referring to Beerus? You've all improved? I mean, they're all there. So, I mean, only one can assume, right? So, we'll, we'll see. This should be interesting. <laughs> we, yeah, that's fine. Go tanks using, now, oh, piece of, uh, a little bit of, uh, so they decided to change up Gotenks's uh, purple to blue to match the blue that Trunks's hair had as you know once he grew up. Trunks's hair color has always been a a problem for for the man, for many many years, as we all know. Um, I do like seeing um, this this version of Gotenks with that blue hair, and also obviously what they're doing is not only letting him have a little bit more action as far as, you know, not just being there for, like, comedy purposes, but it looks like Gotenks is actually fighting more in this one, so we get to see a Ghost Kamikaze attack, which is nice, right? But even more importantly, we straight up get to see what I guess we should refer to as teen Gotenks. Not adult Gotenks. This is teen Gotenks. Remember, Goten and Trunks did not fully age... Uh, well, they aged, right? But they did not. They they didn't time skip all the way to their actual adulthood. Okay, um, but this design looks as exactly as I would have imagined it. You know, having the Gogeta, uh, it literally is Gogeta's chest thing, a, a vest thing, whatever. I, we called it something crazy on the Full Power podcast. Uh, so check that out whenever you do get a chance. Uh, let's see what else. I don't think you could defeat them alone. Together, it should be easier. Go on. Okay, gammas are fine. Just hold on a little longer. Well, actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I guess that's okay. Now, Piccolo. Something terrible must have happened. He's all right. So, Goku saying something terrible must have happened almost kind of makes me feel like in this version, they understand like they know what's going on back on earth which if you remember in the movie they had no idea they were literally doing a match between goku and vegeta and obviously the next big difference in this version is that the inclusion of 
the ultra ego, ultra instinct. So it seems like the ruling of no transformations in the superhero film, that that rule was either removed or they decided to ignore it altogether. So we obviously get to see their for, their forms in this film. Right. Even Broly. Yeah, and so here's another big one right here, right? So it seems like they're taking one some of the dialogue that they already had mentioned early on, and uh, you know, even you, you, we've you've improved so much, we've all improved so much, even you, Broly, and you could tell. Obviously, this is a controlled, enraged Super Saiyan Broly, which is dope to see, and I really do hope that this this does eventually happen in the official version, um, but. Let's see. Now show me your power. Now here's another huge change, right? The cell in this one is actually the original cell. Okay, like for so whatever reason, Dr. Hito or right, they decided that they were not only just going to remake cell, they were going to basically give him back, like give us the original cell back, which I guess could have happened in the original movie, but you know that I'm, I'm sure this is what we were expecting. So it's almost like this fan animation is giving us some some sort of expectation that some fans out there would have I, I expected to see. I know that if I was gonna make a prediction that Cell was gonna come back, that it would have been nice to have that happen so we could hear you know the dialogue and. Cell, you know, just being himself. Cell, release my daughter. Now that I've absorbed. All right, so Cell definitely. Well, okay, so here's, that's another big difference. Cell is the one that kidnapped Pan. Like, okay, all right, and now obviously this, but this one, this is the one, this is the big one that everyone was expecting to happen. So Cell Max, if we're gonna still call him Cell Max is with the gammas absorbed which is a which is exactly what we expected to happen looking back at history cell absorbed 1718 right so that was that much was obvious well, gamma one and two you could say i knew and improved again new and improved again right okay. you can absorb as many androids as you so what the fuck is okay so here here's here's what i don't understand okay how did we get here Everything else I can I, I could kind of understand, but why in the world is Gohan going Super Saiyan four? And this brings me back to why I like I like fan works are fun. They can be they can be entertaining. It's cool to look at, but when you when you really break it down like I'm doing right now, you just it's like a lot more questions than than answers. But I mean, we made it this far. We're this deep in. So I'm gonna, of course, watch the full version when that, whenever that's live, um, and then give like more of a an impression on it, or give you guys more of my impressions on it once I see the whole thing. Obviously, this is a teaser trailer, but like, if we know that Gohan goes beast, and we know that this man has no tail, is he getting a tail in this one? A, B. Is he doing this without a tail? I mean, I'm sure we see it right here when he, when he when he throws the when he throws a punch. Look, it's right there. Yeah, see, boom. The tail's in there. So I'm just curious, right? Because this is another like little, uh, I guess, piece of, I don't know, a note. I guess I could say that it's just like if we understand out of all the characters, right? That if anyone is to be going or tapping into this Super Saiyan 4 primal instinct um, form, phase, whatever that I've been talking about for the last several years, it should be Broly first. Just off of how that character was brought up, how he was fighting, um, how he was, you know, raging out. He tapped into his Ozaru without, you know, having the tail. And I feel like if that was expanded upon that, he would essentially be the first to do that. And I'm and I'm and I also mentioned saying how like if he did have a tail, I feel like he would force through or just straight up transform into an Ozaru, but that's besides the point. This makes me even like way more like confused as to how Gohan got here now. 
maybe it's because of that beast. I like see what see what's not gonna make sense is that if he goes Super Saiyan four and then Beast, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So this is a fan project, right? Super Saiyan Super, or sorry, Dragon Ball Super Superhero by Blue Animation, right? So yeah, that's 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 it. So like I said. There's many reasons why I don't really follow too many fan projects. Um, a lot of the reasons I, of course, talked about um, in detail. But I, you know, like I, like I, like I mentioned already, I am aware that there is a big audience of folks out there that are fans of Dragon Ball that like watching and seeing everyone else's takes. I mean, I guess it's also another thing to look forward to now that we don't really have anything as of this moment um to i guess look forward towards i mean even though there are rumors that we are getting the anime return announcement very soon which obviously like and subscribe so that way once the news does drop obviously i will be talking more about it and giving you guys my thoughts as that news starts rolling out um yeah i mean this is this is this is this kind of reminds me a little bit more of how Back in the day when we didn't have any Z or well, we didn't have any super, but like we didn't have Dragon Ball Z coming back until Resur or Battle of Gods, right? And back during that time, it made perfect sense to really kind of look at any like good looking fan work. And back then, like I said, I, like I came up on Absalon. I never finished it, but. And, and, and the reason, one of the reasons being is because it was one man band, Melavelli, he straight up was the only person working on his work and it took him like a year or more just to make like one episode which makes perfect sense because there's like i said a lot of it a lot of there's a lot that goes into animation i understand that much so again not criticizing the animation itself just because obviously everything looks clean and crisp looks good but i'm i'm, I'm really more worried and focused on the context and the storytelling in this version so um, I will be doing a reaction for whenever this does come out, the full version. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. All those supporting links are going to be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.